Okay, okay guys. It's Monday. Good stuff of things. Dan. Yeah. Just, let's just do it. Let's go. So we got some science news for you today. Um, I guess the genome of the bladderwort plant. We're not going to tell you this specific science name because we just don't freaking feel like it. Turns out this bladderwort plant has like less junk in the trunk than we do. If you were to look at the human genome as a whole, um, big long bundle of it, only 2% of it is actually being used to construct us, to make all the proteins that form all the everything that is human. The extra 98% is junk. It's all just non-encoding DNA, it doesn't make any proteins, it doesn't make us. Interesting, this bladderwort, which we thought was kind of not impossible, but highly unlikely, or life wouldn't function like this, only has 3% junk, so it's like the complete opposite of the spectrum. Everything, almost every single part of its genome is being used to construct thing, proteins in this creature. Now, we don't really know what this extra non-encoding stuff is, you know, really for anymore, since we don't really use it. It's worthless. But, uh, Bladderwort seems to be fine without, without it at all. At all! Quick little history on the bladderwort. Um, originally it came from the tomato. That's cool. Right? That's cool. Sure. And in its history, its genome has actually doubled in size three times. So that means it just keeps shaving it off. Doesn't want any extras. Leaves it alone. Now, apparently the bladderwort only has 80 million base pairs compared to the tomato 780 million base pairs, so that's a lot of number difference. Now there are two, two, count, leading theories on to why there's the junk in our trunk. The first theory is that the extra stuff is actually being used. Uh, all those genes are actually being used to produce RNA, which RNA is useful in a ton of biological reactions and functions. We use it to control gene expressions. So, that, that's good. And the second theory, number two, is that some species will either make a lot of backups of information to make sure that they're okay and they can fall back on stuff, or they will streamline it. So, it does seem like a fairly complicated organism, or plant, or whatever, can have a lot less pairs. So what do you guys think? Do you think we should mess around with our genomes? Trim out some of that fat? Make ourselves lean and tight? Let us know in the comments down, down below. Yeah, and uh, I don't really care if you like today's show, so click or don't click those like and subscribe buttons, and uh, we'll see you on a day that's not Monday. It's Monday, it's Monday. Thanks for joining us with Duff and Things. My name's Dan. Goodbye.